All right, all right, we got our stellar scope for this week, our preview. I got three games for you. All right, I'm going to break them down real quick, try to be fast as possible. Um, if you want to go to some games outside of your community, check these games out. First game, Ed's and Iggy. Ain't got to say it too much. Ain't too much to sell. It's St. Ed's at St. Ignatius. St. Ignatius, right back. They don't get no breaks, bro. St. Ignatius don't get no breaks with that schedule. Um, but it's big-time rivalries. And so anytime you got big-time, big-time rivalries that don't like each other, throw the records out the window. I always see crazy stuff happen in rivalry games, whether it's high school, college, or pros, every year. So throw the records out the window. Both teams also need a win. I mean, both teams coming in, playing hard, super focused, locked in, and ready to go. Ed's won the last seven, so Iggy do. You know what I mean? At some point, they do. Like I said, throw the records out the window. Um, Iggy one and five, Ed's three and three. That don't matter in this type of game. Last year, Ed's got them 42 to seven, and they won the last seven straight, like I said. So keep your eyes on St. Ed's at Iggy. I'm sure a lot of people in Northeast Ohio are going to be going to check that game out. Our second game, we got Maslin Perry at Fitch. We talked about it earlier with Fitch. Let's just see how they bounce back. You know what I mean? Let's mm-hmm. see how they bounce back. They lost to a team in Ursula who's really good. Um, but let's see how they bounce back. Watching Fitch play at the end of the Ursuline game, their kids were still scrapping, clawing, still feisty, still talking a little bit. That let me know they care about, they care a lot. They don't, they ain't like that loss. They didn't like losing like that. And uh, that let me know they're going to have a chip on their shoulder and a bad taste in their mouth that they're going to want to get out. Now let's see, can they just go back to the drawing board, kind of get that, rain, that, that running game back going. Um, DeAndre Richard, he looked like he was a little banged up last yeah, week. Let's see if he come up. back. But if not, they got Junie Higgs. Junie can run that thing. It's just a matter of getting back to running the ball. Um, I like to see him open up a little bit more on first down. You know what I mean? Because teams are starting to crowd that box. Teams know they are running team. I like to see him get a little Tate on the move a little bit on first down. Try to get yourself in more second and four type situation. Mm-hmm. Second and three more so than second and eight, second and nine, which leads to third and seven, third and eight or more. Um, so keep your eye on that game. And also Perry coming off back-to-back losses to uh, Cam McKinley and Maslin Jackson. So Perry's losses, Cam McKinley, Maslin Jackson, and Hardy. So they haven't lost to bad programs or bad teams. Right. But they're kind of at that point where you don't want to go three and four. You kind of want to stay 500 or above. So Fitch got to be ready to go because this team coming in, a wounded animal is the worst type of animal to fight. So they got to be ready to go. And then the last game, um, two local teams, Harding 4-2 and two at Boardman 4-2. and two. If you look at these teams' schedule, kind of how they play, how they've been winning is really similar. Um, both teams lost to two good programs on both sides. Um, both head coaches are used to be assistants at Warren G. Harding. Coach Dota was the head coach at Harding. Um, so they, they're familiar with each other. This is, I expect it to be an old-school, still Valley Conference football game. A lot of running the ball. Let's see who could dominate the line of scrimmage. Um, who could block better, who could tackle better, who special teams plays better, which team is going to take care of the ball the best. You know what I mean? Then at the end of the day, which which coaching staff is going to go in that in that locker room at halftime and make the proper adjustments to come out and give their team that edge in the second half to get the win. That's going to be one of them old school SVC type games. And it's also going to be big for playoff season. Both right, I was looking at two. that. Yeah, yep, both teams division that. two, so it's going to be big for playoff um, season. This is, this is probably the first time in a minute that – uh. The Boardman Harding game been really had something, a little something, had on, a little it. something on it. So, um, like you said, one of them old school SBC. Yep. Actually, I wouldn't be surprised if it was a little rainy. Man. You know what I'm saying? It just fit the description it too good. Fit, it fit the description right. It's all lined up. Yep. Yep. But that's it, bro. That's our Stellascope previews. We got three games this week. Go check them games out of you in Northeast Ohio. Like I said, if you want to go check out something different than your immediate community games, go check that out. And that's our Stellascope preview of the week, baby. Week seven. Indeed, indeed.